This is not advisable, but if you really feel crazy, do what this guy's doing. Andrew, let go of me. I'm trying to get some water out. Don't go in there, Don. Don't. Everybody needs clean water on this planet. And here we are in one of the greenest cities in the world, but one of the most polluted rivers as well. We're going to turn that into drinking water today. There you go. You know, the Indians used to do this years ago. They'd come down to these beautiful rivers we have, scoop it up, take it home, and all the family have water. Would you drink this? What are we doing here, Don? We made it to Crystal Clear Technologies with the water we pulled out of the Willamette this morning, Andrew, and we're going to turn this into drinking water. You ready? Lisa Farman's here to help us learn how to do that. Hi, Lisa. So, yes, thank you for coming by and bringing me a gallon of contaminated water from the Willamette River. It's our pleasure. Absolutely pleasure. Yeah, I just don't get that every day. Um, it makes you special. So you guys, Lisa Wright, were fortunate enough to get some funding Yes. In order to produce this patented water purification system. That is correct. The National Science Foundation and ONAMI, funded by the lottery, enabled Crystal Clear to develop and patent um, several technologies. And Some it's totally portable. You could wear it on your back and you designed it for the military originally. This is designed for the Army and the Marine Corps. It's designed for a squad of 12. It's designed to take out all waterborne pathogens, bacteria, virus, protozoa, heavy metals, herbicides, pesticides, oxidized cyanide, and the end is to have EPA certified drinking water. If we plug it into this, will we, would it purify it enough for us to be able to drink the water? Yes, indeedy. So if I was to drink this right now, what would happen to me? You'd probably get sick, because if you did it on a rainy day when sewage overflowed into the Willamette, that's untreated and there would be bacteria in it and you would get sick. So what kind of sick? Would I break out in red spots? Would I start throwing up? Well, I'm not a medical doctor, but you would have problems with your intestines. You'd start melting, Don. You'd, uh, you'd just like yeah, start... Yeah, you'd be bent over and headed to the doctor. Like the Wicked Witch of the West, right? Just like... So, yeah, but some waterborne pathogens outside the Lamont River can kill you. 80% of all global disease is caused by water contamination. 80%? 80%. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's a big number. It's a big number. So what do we do to get this done? We, yeah, what's um, well, what's in here? Piece of I the Willamette, see, Willamette River. I see twigs, I see leaves, I see sediment, and all the other stuff that you can't see are the dissolved contaminants, organics and inorganics. Those are the three things in water, bugs, organics, and inorganics. See that? So how about you set it down on this? This is what the human powered water purifier patent has. Uh, mechanical filtration for twigs and sticks, 0.25 micron for bacteria and silt, um, RNMX patented media for pulling out inorganics, and then conventional technology, but at the end of it, you get EPA certified drinking water. You can see it's weighted. It's designed to float about six inches below the top of a river so that you are missing the twigs at the top mm -hmm. and you're not at the bottom where the sediment is. I wouldn't want to drink a twig, Andrew. Trust me. No. Well, it's probably not top on the list. We built this with a peristaltic pump. So it's uh, pulling up a suction. So just crank it away, end. crank away. We're going to crank away. So it's being sucked up through the peristaltic pump and then it's being pushed out through the media cartridge, which you can see in the back. So mm -hmm. there's uh, the nano-coated media that Crystal Clear has patented for the metals, um, conventional carbon for removing uh, organics, and then there's three other proprietary medias in there. So this will remove um, this will remove cyanide. I mean, only the military is going to want that, but herbicides, pesticides, and all waterborne pathogens, bacteria, virus, and protozoa. You need to like put your back into that, you know what I mean? Andrew, I'm cranking this thing hard. I'm getting thirsty. I'm going to want a lot more in water after this. You're getting close, bud. It's got to come out. You just need to put your back into it. Come water. on. What do you, I mean, honestly. Hey, I'm working it, man. I got the water out of the Willamette. I'm cranking it through, and you're standing there watching me and giving me a hard time. That's why I have the degree in biophysics, and yeah, you, you don't. you got a degree, all right. I'll show you it. i got to monitor this. This is serious stuff. You can't just, oh, here we go. Look at that. Look, hey, hey. All right. That. Look how clear oh, that is. That is water. Clean water. Clean water from the Willamette. It'll meet EPA certified drinking water. 
standard. Primary drinking water. You have to hold it lower. Nice. I mean, one third of the world doesn't have access to a clean source of water. Well, this is Not good. to mention all the ones that are dying from it. Would this have taken care of the cholera problem in Haiti? Uh, yes. I'm not still not convinced, to be honest. That's how I'm a big fan. Can you see that? Can you hand me that better. beaker? Looks a lot better. Anyway. See me through it? What do you think, Don? I think it looks a lot cleaner. Smells? It's less of a risk. It's going to smell. It should There's have like the river smell. Like There's chlorine? no chlorine in here. Well, no. So what am I smelling then? You're smelling the river. It's what you brought me. It smells pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it Well, the, a lot of places will not drink water out of the country if it smells like chlorine. That's so the can I like drink it, it out of this? Yeah, you can. Here, I'll have some too. Just pour it in. What was in there before? The water Oops. Here, you're done. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. So we go with this. If I collapse and start fuming. I'll make a phone call. Very good, Andrew. You owe me 20. There is some taste in there. There is definitely some taste in there. But yeah, it's the taste of the river. It actually tastes better than the it water very at home when I turn my tap on, for some <laughs> reason. It's pretty good. Every household should have one of these in their garage, along with their candles and all the rest of it for power emergencies. It this will happen. Going. This could be a lifesaver. It life will happen.